Hi, welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about something new from Google's developer side that's aimed right at one of the biggest pain points in software teams. Understanding existing code. Reading code is slow, it's expensive, and honestly, it sucks the momentum out of projects when you're stuck parsing old modules and guessing at how things fit together. Google just introduced CodeWiki, which basically keeps a continuously updated, structured wiki for your repositories. And the big headline is that it's automated, context-aware, and it links straight back to the code, which is kind of cool. The most exciting bit for a lot of you will be the Gemini-powered chat that uses your repo's up-to-date wiki as its brain. So you're not asking a generic model. You're asking something that actually knows your code end-to-end, -end, which is quite awesome. CodeWiki is launching as a public preview website for public repos. It ingests a repository, scans the whole code base, and regenerates the documentation after each change. That alone, docs that evolve with the code, fixes a problem we've all had with stale readms and half-updated architecture notes. Basically, what it does is turn static docs into living documentation with deep links back to the exact files, classes, and functions it's referencing. If you get stuck in a tricky module, you can ask the built-in Gemini chat, and because its knowledge base is the current wiki, the answers stay relevant. It's the documentation we always wanted without babysitting it, which is pretty good. Plus, it auto-generates architecture, class, and sequence diagrams that reflect the current code, so you get visuals that aren't lying to you, which is kind of cool. Now, the reason I'm covering it today is because of what's coming next. They're building a Gemini CLI extension for CodeWiki, so you can run the same system locally and securely on internal repositories, and you can use it almost like you use Context 7 to get context of libraries that may be new and not in the training data set. They also say that they'll be adding support for private repos as well, because for a lot of teams, that's where the real pain lives. Private monorepos, legacy modules, the original authors long gone, tribal knowledge scattered across docs, and Slack threads. The idea that you could have up-to-date, structured documentation inside your own environment, plus a chat that can answer specific questions about your code with real references, could be a game-changer. The post says, you can join the waitlist for the Gemini CLI extension. Now, let's have a look at it as well. To start, you can just go to CodeWiki's site, and here you can search for the repo that you want to talk about. It is very similar to how you use Cognition's deep wiki as well if you have used it before. So, you just search for an open repo, like Gemini CLI, and you'll see the search results appear here. Just click on the repo that you want to use. This will open up this page, and here you can see the documentation that Gemini has generated for it. So, this is all made with Gemini. And on the right, you can see the chat option. Here, you can chat about whatever it is that you want to talk about. You can also use it to build out context that you can give to your coder. So, like, if you want to find how the backend works and give it to your AI agent, then you can ask it to build out a context and then use that accordingly. It is quite good. Once it is integrated into Gemini CLI itself, it can be really amazing. Also, for some repos, it generates a full video with Notebook LM. It is kind of cool as well. So, here's my honest take on the value proposition. First, automated and always current. It scans the full code base and regenerates docs after each change, so you don't have to trust humans to update Markdown, which is quite awesome. Second, intelligent and context-aware. The wiki itself is the knowledge base for the Gemini chat, 
So answers aren't generic. They're scoped to your repo, which is pretty good third, integrated and actionable. Everything is hyperlinked to the exact code files and definitions, merging reading and exploration into one workflow. This means when it tells you, this service uses FUBAR client, you click and land straight on the class or function. No hunting, which is kind of cool. And fourth, the diagrams. Always current architecture, class, and sequence diagrams based on the true state of the code instead of outdated Visio or Lucid chart artifacts. I really liked it and have been wanting something like this for a while. However, here's the but. Right now, the website is focused on public repositories. If you're an enterprise or working on sensitive code, you'll be waiting for the Gemini CLI extension to bring it into your environment. That waitlist means it's not fully available yet, and we don't have details on pricing, limits, or how it handles very large monorepos. Think polyglot repos in TypeScript, Go, Java, Python, plus build systems like Bazel or Gradle, and package managers like NPM, PNPM, or Poetry. There's also the question of how well it handles complex macro-generated code or frameworks that rely heavily on decorators and codegen, Nest.js in TypeScript, Spring Boot in Java, or protobuf-driven services in Go. It's promising, but we'll need to see how robust the regeneration is when code churn is high. Another consideration, how the chat handles step-by-step -step tasks like Find the auth middleware that intercepts JWTs, or trace the right path from GraphQL mutation to PostGray via Prisma, and whether it shows reliable, clickable chains. If those workflows are solid, amazing. If not, it'll still be helpful, but with caveats. Anyway, the direction is exciting. Developers should spend time building, not deciphering, and a living, integrated wiki that understands your code, feels like the future. I think the Gemini tie-in makes sense, especially if they support model variants like Gemini 2.5 Pro for heavier reasoning and keep latency reasonable. It's very similar to the way some tools index repos for semantic search, but this adds the always updated documentation layer plus navigable diagrams, which is quite awesome. The fact that every answer links back to code is the thing that anchors it in reality. Also, for new contributors, having this on day one means they can ship a first commit faster instead of spending a week reading source files. For senior folks, groking a new library in minutes instead of days is exactly the kind of productivity Boost teams pay for. So, there's that... I thought I'd talk about this as well, because it lines up with what teams actually need, living knowledge that removes friction. Even with the current limitation to public repos on the website, the fact that a CLI extension for internal code is coming is the piece I'm personally excited about. I'm going to keep an eye on the waitlist and test it when it drops, because if it nails large code bases and keeps latency low with accurate links, it's going to be insanely good. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.